There is a lady that used to sit in her rocking chair on her front porch, and she'd rock back and forth. And she would say, what she's doing is sitting there and letting God love her with every rock. It helped her to remember how much love there is from God for her. And I pray in 2015, you realize how much love there is from God for you. I pray that you will daily enter the secret place, the spiritual place. The result will be that you'll begin to understand at a, at a new depth the true purpose in your life. And that purpose is spiritual. You'll have answers to questions that had plagued you for a long, long time. You'll know the truth of God. And the truth of God is not a million miles away, but it can be found as close as within you. You'll hear the still small voice and you'll know that you can find answers and solutions even when it's not apparent to your human mind and your human eyes alone. You will rise up and you'll be a great leader in your chosen field because that that is coming through you is always the great leader, God. And God will literally anoint you with, an, with a special energy that will come forth from you that others will feel. You'll be empowered as you are equipped from the secret place of the Most High. You'll know that there is something happening in you that can never be taken from you. I pray that you know this every day of 2015. No matter what happens in the world, you'll know that there is an activity in the inner realms of your awareness that will allow you to continuously grow in spiritual unfoldment. The purpose of prayer is to integrate the attributes of God into human awareness, which will in turn manifest as a corresponding good condition. We look at prayer as a conscious raising tool, not as a method of begging favors from God, but rather convincing ourselves of the good that is already prepared for us from God. We don't even look at prayer as a problem-solving device. God is not a for-maintenance-only God. God is not Mr. Goodwrench, uh, coming to your life as a tool to tighten something up. God is perfection itself, bringing perfection into you and every aspect of your life. As we allow the flow of perfection to come, it doesn't do maintenance to our troubled situation. It brings a whole new, higher, spiritual situation into our lives. Prayer is an activity of blending our mind in every situation facing us to the higher spiritual standard of God unfolding in you as a result of your spiritual development. Prayer is a conscious effort to harmonize our human mind with God. In 2015, this is an important thing to do. Put on the Christ. Instead of dressing ourselves in the consciousness of what we might have done in 2014, the consciousness of worry, of dread, and fear, put on a whole new you. Resolve not only to change little parts of you, but become a new you in the new year. I've said jokingly that REV in front of my name doesn't stand for reverend anymore. It stands for revised. 
I want you to be revised too. A whole new you, a 2015 model of you, a new and a better and improved you. And you can be. You can be. But it's not through your own efforts alone. It is by putting on the mind that was in Jesus Christ. It is putting on the activity of God life into your soul. It's putting on God energy, loving vitality into your body, into your mind. And when you put on these attributes of God, you become a whole new you. I pray that you do become a whole new you in 2015. And because of that, because of the conscious raising activity that you're consenting to, that you are experiencing whole new, better levels of life in every arena that you'll find yourself in, in 2015. It is my prayer that God blesses you and your family in 2015 in better ways than even right now you can imagine. God bless you, my friend.